the Volleyball Shark Invitational. For more information on Coach Polk and the volleyball team, visit shawbears.com. Coach Polk, thank you for joining us. Good luck on your first season, and I know you'll do the Shaw University Bears very proud. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. We appreciate new head volleyball coach Jonathan Polk calling into the Shaw Report. Really cool guy. Wish him nothing but success this season as he leads the defending CIAA champion volleyball team. Big shoes to fill for head coach Jonathan Polk. So it's only right that we start off the Shaw Bears scoreboard with volleyball right here on ShawBears.com. We're going to begin with the reigning CIAA champion volleyball squad who got their season started in Florida competing in the NSU Shark Invitational under first-year head coach Jonathan Polk. The Lady Bears faced off with host Nova Southeastern University Friday, falling in straight sets 14-25, 18-25, and losing the third set 21-25. Eight kills for Amari Fletcher in the loss for the Lady Bears. The next match, Shaw dropped another one in three sets, 13-25, 14-25, and 12-25 to Lewis University. The star in that one in the loss was nine assists for Jada Flowers. Day two of the tournament, the Lady Bears played their best volleyball on their opening match versus Truman. The Lady Bears took the first set 25 to 20 before dropping the next three sets 14 25, 12 25, and 12 25. Senior Carla Sosa had 10 kills and 12 digs in that loss, as well as Jalen Butler with 10 assists. The last match of the tournament for the Lady Bears was against Millersville. Shaw dropped another match in straight sets 7-25, 13-25, and 17-25. Jada Flowers was the lone bright spot in that one with 11 assists in the loss. The Lady Bears begin their season 0-4, but it's a long season. They'll be back in action on the court September the 12th at Chowan. For more information on the volleyball squad and new head coach Jonathan Polk, visit shawbears.com. Next up, we have both women's and men's soccer and new head coach Randy McClure and his assistant Matthew McCormick. Congratulations to Coach McClure and Coach McCormick. Welcome to Shaw University. Unfortunately for the women, their match with Barton on September the 5th was postponed due to the, the weather. Hurricane Dorian really ravaged this area as far as rain. So that September the 5th matchup with Barton was postponed. It'll be scheduled at a later date. Coach McClure and the Lady Bears will begin their season today at Chawan University in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. For more information on the Lady Bears soccer program, visit ShawBears.com. Moving on to the men's soccer program, their September the 5th match at Queens College was also affected by Hurricane Dorian, but it was sunny skies this past weekend where the men welcomed Bloomsburg University to Raleigh, North Carolina, for a early Sunday morning matchup. Last year, Shaw knocked off Bloomberg 2-1. This season was much the same. Didn't get off to a great start for the Bears. They were held scoreless in the first half as Bloomberg took a 1-0 lead into halftime. Freshman forward Brandon Linares provided the equalizer at the 59-28 mark to knock the score at one apiece. 90 minutes wasn't enough for this one as the match would ultimately head to a 10-minute overtime. In OT, senior forward Andre Matsuda netted the game winner with 11 seconds to play to secure a 2-1 Shaw victory. The Bears start their season off at 1-0. They'll be back on the pitch this Wednesday as they host Barton. For more information, head to ShawBears.com. And lastly, on the Shaw Bear scoreboard, shots out to women's and men's cross-country head coach Franz Quam Smith and his cross-country squad. They'll be back in action on September the 14th. They'll be competing at Roanoke, Virginia in the Roanoke Invitational. For more information on cross-country, women's and men's, visit ShawBears.com. And that was our Shaw Bears scoreboard. Well, ladies and gents, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us again this week on the Shaw Report, where we give you the rundown and the lowdown and recap everything going on within the athletic department at your Shaw University. You can listen to this podcast on ShawBears.com, also on iTunes, or you can go to my website, BanksBoy.com. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Sports by Damien. That's S-P-O-R-T-S-B-Y-D-A-I-M-E-O-N and Shaw University Athletics are on social media, on Twitter.
Twitter, it's at Shaw Bears. On Instagram, it's at SU underscore Bears. And on Facebook.com backslash Shaw Bears. Thank you again for listening to the Shaw Report. We're going to give it to you raw. We're going to give it to you week in, week out. But I got to go. So remember, never take no for an answer. And if the door's locked, dig a tunnel underneath the building and sneak your way in. This has been another episode of the Shaw Report. I am Damian Banks. I got two words for you people. I'm gone. A heap sees, but a few knows. Only a few. So many have come before, but only a few can go. We invite you to our house. Just make sure you wipe your feet at the